Hello and welcome to this first look at the Kubota DLC. So it is finally here. We finally got our hands on it. The uh, the Kubota DLC is here. Uh, I've got every bit of equipment that comes in the uh, in the DLC just in front of us. Um, a quick uh, message as well. If uh, at the end of this video you fancy buying the Kubota DLC for yourself, then really really appreciate it if you used my uh, code at checkout. It gives me a little. Uh, commission so it supports the uh the channel and it doesn't cost you anything extra so which is uh really really good so but uh, yes nevertheless we will get into it so obviously i've got uh all the different bits of uh, machinery um i'll look at them in the shop with you first before we look at them in person so we've obviously tractor wise We've got uh, the M5 up to the M8. We've obviously got M5, 6, 7, and 8 um, going up in, uh, in what's it, size and horsepower. Uh, the M5, this is it's quite a funny looking tractor, this. <laughs> this is probably going to be a good tractor for something like your uh, your vineyards. It's quite a narrow tractor to go down the, um, what's it, down the vines and everything. So. Um, it's got, the lowest horsepower it's got is 92, and it can go up to 106, um, which isn't too bad for a little tractor. Um, we can put a front weight on it as well. So obviously, when you go to put an implement on the back, you can have up to 450 kilos, which I think is plenty uh, enough weight-wise to uh, to have on the front. Uh, wheels we can't uh, can't change the wheel setup, but you can change the uh, the wheel brands like uh, like so um obviously it's got a license plate and whatnot so it's a manual gearbox on this which is uh, quite interesting because i don't think the other ones have got a manual gearbox oh, this one's got a manual i'm pretty sure that one's got a variable one so that's got like an automatic one so yeah the bigger tractors have got the two bigger ones have got um a variable gearbox like an automatic gearbox and the two smaller tractors, they've both got uh, manual gearboxes. So, but uh, yeah, this is the uh, the M6. Obviously, again, we're starting off at 104 horsepower, and it can go up to 141. So, sort of a bigger range, smaller tractor, sort of going into a medium range sort of tractor. Um, this we can obviously put a front loader on it, which uh, adds a front loader brackets on and a toolbox. It would uh, would seem, which is quite cool. Um, where are we? Getting lost. So yeah, a few different configurations you can have on the front. You can either have the three point. Uh, you can also have up to four hundred and fifty kilos in weight. Obviously, as well, changing it around puts the front loader bracket on as well. If you have nothing, uh, nothing on the front, so can uh, do all sorts of different customizations on the front which is quite nice um wheel setup obviously you can do twin wheels narrow wheels for your spraying and we also got the wide wheels and the uh wheel wide wheels and wheel weights which is quite nice so i think personally all these tractors look better with wider wheels the ordinary wheels just look a bit too thin in my opinion compared to the uh, the wide wheels wide wheels look much better i think on uh, on this so but that's the m6 series so we've got the m7 which again a bit bigger this is probably my favorite tractor in the pack my favorite looking tractor in the pack uh, it goes up to 168 horsepower so it's a biggest sort of medium range tractor we can obviously again put a front loader on uh, one of the nice things with this is apart from the little one, I think, yeah, apart from the little one, all these three tractors here, they all have a front loader attachment on, which is really, really nice. Um, nice to have that option. So yeah, it goes up to 168 horsepower. Um, again, with the whole front uh, weight, but except this one will go up to 540. And again, you can have uh, your front loader bracket on and you, uh, you can have um, your three point, or you can have your weights on. Or you can just have the uh, the front loader bracket on and nothing else, which uh, is again it's nice to have all these different different options. What's quite nice as well is obviously they've catered to 
the US market and the European market with the uh, the warning signals. But what's quite nice is you can have them optional on or off, which I think is good, rather than just having to <laughs> have to have them on. It's quite nice to uh, to have the option of turning them on and off. Um, and like the one previously, again, we've got all the different wheel options. Uh, again, I think the uh, the wide wheels look the best. So, but that like if I was going to configure this tractor, I'd probably have it on. Obviously, that probably I'm not sure whether I'd have a front loader on it. Um, I might do. It's a decent tractor, 168 horsepower to have for a um a front loader tractor. That's probably the configuration I'd have it at. Um, so yeah, that is the M7. And then obviously our biggest tractor, which is the M8. This will go up to 200 horsepower. Um, so a decent, what's it, uh, size tractor. Obviously, like I said, we can have the front loader on. All the different front uh, attachments. Like so. And again, all the different... Uh, wheel setups one thing that would be quite nice is if when you're on your your standard tires that you didn't have this sticking out that annoys me a little bit it'd be nice if you could take that off um but i'm i'm not in all fairness i'm not a fan of this uh this tractor i just don't think it looks right not that i it was obviously it's, it's real to what the real life machine looks like but i just don't like the actual tractor itself um i think the the exhaust the uh yeah the pipe looks a bit odd with <laughs> with how big it is um and obviously the whole uh warning um signals on the back as well um it'd be nice if you could have them optional but obviously they're on as well so personally if i was going to go with a tractor it'd probably be the m7 that's probably my favourite tractor out of uh, out of this pack. So, but uh, yeah, got those four tractors. Then we've got uh, this wheel loader, which again got a few different uh, configurations. You can have front twin wheels or just normal wheels. Different brands. It's obviously sixty one horsepower. So it's not the uh, the most powerful. Of wheel loaders, but quite nice to have on a little uh, little farm. So oh, we've got an, a uh, what's call it a uh, automatic gearbox, which is nice. Quite pricey for seventy five k, but it's still quite nice. I love the uh, the skid steers. These are really really cool. And what's quite nice as well is you can put weights on the back here. So if you're what's it lifting something real heavy, you can have a what's it, an additional weight on the back, which is quite nice. So I think 56k is about in line for what skid steers cost. Um, so, and again, the uh, the track one is uh, the same. So obviously, just got tracks on. Obviously, you can't change the tires or anything. So, but obviously, the tracks are going to cost you that bit more, um, and it is a bit more horsepower. So, I I prefer the wheel one. In all fairness, so uh, then we've got the uh, like the buggies got the smaller one which you can have the front uh, front bracket on you can even put a three point attachment on which is uh, is quite cool and obviously the the new thing that this DLC brings is the uh, the passenger script so obviously when you go on multiplayer you can have a passenger which is really really cool and obviously in the bigger one you can have up to three passengers which is really really nice so yeah really really like that and then we've obviously got the front loaders to go on both tractors. So yeah, that is all the equipment that comes in the Kubota DLC. I don't think there is any extra buckets or whatnot that come with the uh, the DLC. Nope, don't think so. They're the front loader ones. Uh, skid stick. No. So obviously they'll fit to the the base game attachments, but the DLC doesn't come with any um, extra buckets or not whatnot which it makes sense so yeah if you have a walk around they're obviously really really nicely well detailed really really well made have a hop in this one 
obviously the sounds are uh, are great on this really really nice your beacons going i can press the right key uh where's my key oh do they not actually are they not actually beacons i thought they were beacons those Maybe they're not. That's that one anyway. So yeah, that's going to be more for your vineyards, I'd say, than anything. So that's going to cater the, to those uh, sort of farmers. Then we've obviously got the uh, the M6. Sounds really, really nice inside. Obviously, you can see when you're moving the front loader, you can see he's moving the stick in the cab, which is nice. Really like that. Obviously, you can see it moving cab as well. to see if that key turns when you turn it on i haven't actually checked that Let's have a quick look oh it does so the key actually turns when you turn it on that's nice i like that I like the lights as well if you look at the light uh, lever that all moves which is really really cool Yeah, they've done a, obviously they've done a fantastic job with uh, with modeling everything and uh, and whatnot. This is obviously my favourite uh, tractor in the DLC. What's quite interesting, these beacons, unlike your ordinary ones, which just constantly flash, these ones, these ones are a bit more like strobes. Which is uh, interesting. A bit different from a beacon. Yeah, really nice. Really, really nice. Everything just looks so crisp in the uh, in the cab. This is obviously the biggest tractor. Um, it looks like these should fold out, but there's no, I haven't spotted an option that you can fold them out. So, which is uh, interesting. I left the beakers on that one. Yeah, it's uh, it's interesting that. Obviously, sounds quite beefier this one. But yeah, it's uh, it's an interesting <laughs> looking tractor, if I'm uh, being honest. Oh, indicating. They are quite uh, they are quite cool looking tractors though. So well detailed, so well so well made i mean like even when you get in the cab and like the stickers you can read so well in these uh in these like if i was to zoom in you could probably read that sticker which is just phenomenal how uh, well detailed it is it's obviously our little uh wheel loader Never been a fan of wheel loaders anyway, so I suppose my opinion on this is uh, is a little biased. But still, for a wheel loader, it's, it's quite nice. I just think it's quite expensive for, uh, for a wheel loader.
Yeah, it's uh, it's nice. These are obviously my favourite though, the uh, the little skid steers. I like that when you get in as well. The uh, the little uh, thing comes down. I'm gonna see if I can catch it. <laughs> that comes down like that. That's really really cool. Obviously everything works like this. I definitely want to get the one of these on a uh, on a farm save. That's for sure. I do really like these. But quite a decent reach as well, to be fair. And again, so uh, so well made, so well detailed. Very very nice. Yeah, you know, everything's just so so crisp. So just looks so good. So so well made. I definitely think in this DLC there is. Uh, there is something for everybody. I do think uh, this does. It's definitely worth uh, worth buying. What's quite nice with this as well is the uh, is the track sound. Perhaps can't hear it quite as much, but it's definitely there. You can hear the uh, tracks going around. Which is really nice. I, I love that. Just that attention to detail again, which is really nice. Yeah, br brilliantly made, brilliantly made. And then yeah, here's uh, here's your buggies. They go quite fast. These, I think this one this one goes twenty four. I think I have a feeling the other one goes forty miles an hour. So they're quite nippy. Obviously, you can open the uh, open the back. But yeah, these these would be quite uh, quite good to have around the farm. There you go. This one does uh, does forty. This is the uh, this obviously the two seater one. This is the smaller one. Interesting how the seats are folded up on uh, this one. In the back, there must be an option to be able to unfold it, I'd have thought. That's for the tailgate. Hmm. Interesting, that is. Whether it folds out <coughs> when someone gets in it. Tension belts. Hmm, interesting that. How it they're, they're, they're folded up. And there's no option I can see to unfold it. Unless it's an option when you buy the actual um the actual machine.
Ah, uh, okay. So I've obviously I've put the bigger capacity on, which then folds these seats up. If you have a smaller capacity, you can obviously have the seats, but if you want the bigger uh, tank on, you don't get the seats, which is very it's quite uh, it's quite cool. Let's have a look at the uh, the one with bigger seats. Which is this one over here. Yes, yeah, so that will obviously count. You'll count, be able to carry three passengers. Just not have a bigger capacity on the back. Yeah, that's. Uh, I, I didn't know that actually. That escape me, that did. It's still really, uh, really nice. Where's the key, I wonder, on this? Oh, there it is, just down there, I can see it moving. I love that, that the key moves when you turn it on. Probably does that on in-game tractors. I've just never noticed. I ought to have a look, actually. Test it on an in-game tractor. I've probably just never noticed. Choose this one. Uh, where's the key? Can't spot the key on this one. This got a key? Must have a key. Oh, there you go. There it is. Yeah, it does move. <laughs> That's not a new thing. I've just never noticed that. Still nice, though. It's nice to have another brand in the game, you know. At the end of the day, it uh, it perhaps won't be up to everybody's um, taste, this DLC, but it is another big brand in the game. Obviously, you know, the company in real life, Kubota, they, um, you know, they make, what's it, new, new machines, IRL, there's a chance they could come to the game. Obviously, it opens a thing for modders. So, you know, obviously Kubota, they do diggers and things as well. So it opens that avenue for, for modders to be able to make diggers and things like that. So I definitely think it's worth buying. I definitely, I, I do like this DLC. There is something for everybody. Um, even if you buy it, to be honest, for the new passenger script. And, uh, you know, if you like doing multiplayer and you want to, you know, drive around your farm with a few passengers... You know, just that alone is a is a great feature to buy. Um, so I think for the amount of machines you get, the amount of equipment, I think it's a reasonably priced DLC. So, but uh, yeah, let me know what your thoughts are on the DLC in the comment section down below. Like I say, if you think uh, if you're thinking about uh, buying this DLC, definitely consider using my code at the uh, checkout. If you have enjoyed the video, as always, please consider hitting that like button. And uh, subscribe if you are new to the channel. And I'll hopefully see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye, guys.